Hi, uh, my name's Ella and today I'm going to be presenting on my EPQ, which the title was What is the most efficacious treatment option for paediatric OCD? So, paediatric OCD is obsessive compulsive disorder in children typically taken from about age 5 to age 18 um, and it's characterised by obsessions which are recurring intrusive thoughts and compulsions which are actions that someone performs repetitively in order to reduce their anxiety. So initially I had chosen to do a topic on um, how love and attraction influences your brain biochemistry. However, I found that there wasn't very much research on this. Um, it was very niche and all of the research I could find wasn't particularly scientific. So instead I decided to change to a topic about um, OCD in childhood. And uh, we studied OCD in adults in psychology lessons, so I found the child version really interesting. Um, it's relevant to the degree I want to do because I'm going to do psychology. And also my ideal future career ambition is to be a uh, clinical psychologist working with children, so it's really relevant to that. So I approached the project by start starting by looking um, at the current NHS treatments that are available outlined by the NICE guidelines, which is what doctors use when they're deciding how they're going to treat a child. Um, I planned which of those treatments I was going to explore in my essay, and then I used Google Scholar and lots of different uh, psychiatry and psychology journals. Um, so that I could find studies and clinical uh, studies and then I also did some research into more alternative treatments so for example I looked at CBD and transcranial um, magnetic stimulation I found out um, that treatments aren't as black and white as you might think it's much more beneficial to holistically combine things so for example um, having an antidepressant and a course of CBT therapy rather than just one thing and how important it is to have a multi-disciplinary uh, team in the treatment. Um, I was really surprised actually by how promising some of the new treatments were when I was studying them. So for example, um, CBD has been found to reduce compulsive movements in rats which then if we can extrapolate that to adults and children would be really beneficial. However, my essay was inconclusive. I didn't decide one treatment was the most um, efficacious because psychiatric care has to be really individualised, especially in children because they're more vulnerable and are mid-development. So, how did it go? I found it quite hard to find clinical trials in children because OCD is really well researched, but mostly in adults because children are a lot more vulnerable. Um, unfortunately, I was unable to interview any NHS professionals, which I would have really liked to do, but because of the COVID-19 lockdown, I wasn't able to do work experience, so I couldn't speak to them. Um, and I found it really hard to narrow down the alternative treatments because there's so many out there. So if I did my project again, I'd like to include less on antidepressants um, used typically and explore more alternatives, despite all the research being preliminary. So what have I learned from the experience? Initially I was really nervous um, to do referencing because I found it really hard, but the project has really encouraged me and forced me to actually learn how to do it properly and I feel much more confident with it now. Um, I can interpret clinical journals the way they're set out and also understand the statistical techniques that they use in research which I think is going to be really useful at university. And I've also really um, improved my time management skills and I've got a lot better at essay writing and planning, um, which has been really useful across all of my subjects. All of these are going to be really useful at university, especially because of the degree I'm choosing to do. Thank you very much for listening. Are there any questions? Good. Thank you very much. Um, so you say that you didn't really come to any one conclusion. Was there any sort of way, that was a treatment that we were leaning towards or that seemed to be the most popular? Yeah, so at the moment in children, um, typically in like the older range because you wouldn't want to use antidepressants as a first line for a young, young child. Um, the most ideal treatment that I found was uh, combining sertraline, which is an antidepressant that is well 
documented in research clinical trials and combining that with the course of cognitive behavioural therapy so that the two treatments augment each other. Brilliant, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you.